Hello guys, welcome to Power BI tutorial. In the previous session, we learned what is Power BI, how we can install and download Power BI, and what, what are the main components and building blocks of Power BI. So in today's session, we will learn what is import query mode, what is static query mode, and how we can load data from in Power BI from different different data sources and how we can transform data in Power BI. Okay, so let's start with import query mode. Firstly, we will understand definition of import mode and then we will move to practical. Okay, so import query mode. In import mode, Power BI desktop stores the data inside Power BI cache or you can say Power BI memory. If your data size is less than 1 GB or data is not continuously changing, then you can use import mode. Import mode is very fast compared to direct query mode because all data comes from Power BI desktop cache. So you can use this mode for to development purpose and testing purpose. Okay. So guys, now move to practical part. So before moving further, uh, you need to some sample data set for practicing purpose. So guys, just go to Google and type us super store data set and press enter so see from here you can download super store data set for practicing purpose this is most popular data for analysis purpose in tableau and power bi okay and also same data set you can download from my website you just type bi.com and press enter in home page there is one link download sample data set for practice you just click and you can download super store data set from here okay guys okay so now we will import data from excel so under home tab there is one icon get data you just click here and select excel then select your sample data set click to open it will take few minutes to load and see here under my seat there is three different different seats okay let me show you see this is my super store data set and under that data set i have three different seats one is order second one is returns and users basically this data is sales data from e-commerce side if you see here we have order id and profit and sales and country region state city and postal code and order date so this is perfect data for analysis okay so in second say we have written order list and in third say we have some reason data according to manager detail okay so guys now it is showing me three different seats so now it's up to you how many seats you want to load suppose i want to load only order seat so you just select order and if you want to load return seat you just click on return okay so on click it will show you some preview of your data suppose i select order so it will show you some order data from order seat so you just check your data is load correctly or not and then select second seat and then click to load so it will take few minutes to load data according to your data line okay so now it is loading my data see here under fields under field section it loads my two different different seats and in power bi it is called data set okay so this is one data set order and this is second data set returns okay so now i have two different data sets and guys one more thing how how you identify which mode you are using so you just over the data set name and it will return you your data set name and your storage mode see here my storage mode is input and last refresh time when i load data in power bi so that one is my last refresh time so again suppose i added some rows in my excel sheet then you just click refresh icon it will refresh your sheet load latest record to your power bi memory or cache see here when i hover now 
my last refresh time is 430 which which one is my current time okay fine and second thing when you are using import mode you will see three icon in left hand side see one is report icon second one is data and third one is model so guys in import mode you will see data icon because power bi load data into power bi memory or okay. cache but when you will use direct query mode you will not see data icon you, you will see only two icons one is report icon and second one is model icon because recent behind in direct query there is no power bi not load any data into power bi uh, power bi memory data directly came from database so that's why in direct query mode this icon is missing okay so right now i am using import mode so that's why data icon is visible for me when you click on report so right now i am in report section when you click on data see now here we have two data set when you click on order and when you click on return see this is my return data set and when you click on order from here i can see my order data set because power bi load all data into power bi memory okay and when you click on model so you can see your all column details along with all data sets see this is my order data set so this is my column list city country customer id customer name customer segment and this is my second data set returns okay hope you cleared about all three icons report data and model okay so we learned how we can import data from excel now we will load data from web page okay so load data from web page we will use latest situation ongoing situation like covid 19 so guys see here, here i have one website worldometers.info forward slash coronavirus okay so we will fetch data from this site and always remember power bi fetch only tabular format data so in this side i have tabular data see this is tabular data this one this one, this one is tabular data so we will try to fetch this data to power bi desktop okay and here if you see here we have two tables here one is yesterday table and one is now table so when i will fetch data using web data source so power bi will show me two tables let's have a look i just copy the url and go to power bi framework then click to get data and select web page when you click to web page then paste url here and click to ok it will take a uh, few minutes to do to fetch data from web page to power bi desktop okay fine see guys power bi finds three tabular format in worldometer website so let's have a look when you click on table 0 see this is one tabular data and when you click on second table i think it is yesterday data so let's have a look here when i click on now my total work count is 3318739 so when i click on table 1 c 3318 so i think this is now table and when i click on yesterday 
see here is count 3304 something so when I select count is 3304 okay fine so guys I need only current table so I choose table 1 and then I load guys now it is loading data to power bi memory because this is import mode okay so guys when i go to data tab so here is my all data sets order right now i select order now i select return and now i select table zero okay so see here my all data is loaded successfully country total cases new cases total that new that totally covered and if you see here country others total case new case total that so probably fetches all data successfully okay so guys this is import mode so we successfully covered two things one is how to load data from excel sheet and then how to load data from web pages okay so now we will try to load data from json format so guys for json we need some json data so here we have one good website track corona dot live if you go to here and we will try to fetch data from some json web, web api this is country code API I see this is JSON data and we will try to load this data so guys here is two things either you can directly fetch data from URL same like web page and either you just copy this data and save file in JSON format so here I save file in JSON format and then we will try to load go to get data and click to more option and then select JSON and click to connect select JSON file and click to load so guys for JSON data we have to perform some some steps because power bi support only tabular format data so we have to convert convert json data to tabular format so see here this is my country's file country's data set and under that file we have uh, data in json format okay so when i select countries he is giving me one option convert data into table yes we want to convert table, uh, data in table format so just click to this icon sorry this link and then click to list see and then again he is asking convert to table you just click convert to table and without select any option from drop down you just click to ok button and then click this icon see and click to load more see now my all columns are visible here location country code latitude longitude confirm that recovered and update okay guys so here is one message it is showing use original column name as prefix yes and just click to ok see guys now my all data is successfully converted to tabular format from json and now click close and apply see guys now we successfully load data from json to tabular format okay and if you hold the mouse you will see import mode so all are import mode data sets okay when you click to refresh then you will get latest record okay guys Hope you cleared import mode.